Ah, well, one way to get green is to make your own solar oven. Well, did you know that Phoenix has over 300 days of sun? Unbelievable. So why not utilize our sun to save money? Huh? That's a good idea. Well, joining us now is Chris Byers, the, also known as the solar oven guy. And a few weeks ago, we had you on because you yes. were um, going to be teaching people how to build solar ovens at the right. Glendale Green event. Right. That was a couple weeks ago. And, you know, it was, it was one of many different things that we talked about. But I was so blown away with how cool this was. I said, Chris, you have to come back and show us how we can all make a very simple solar oven. Yes. So I have one question for you first. Sure. Because I know there are many different designs when it comes to a solar oven. A few thousand. Right, a few thousand. <laughs> but when you're building one, what's the main objective? The main objective is to concentrate the sunlight onto your cooking um, Elements, pot. whatever you're yeah, cooking. Your so you want to make sure that you direct the sun to yeah. come in to your solar oven. Right. Okay. So you have a very simple, we went through many different designs of solar ovens yesterday, and we came up with a very simple one that should just take us a few minutes to make. I hope so. Okay, what are the supplies <laughs> that we need to make well, our own solar not very oven? much. You need a box. Actually, you need two boxes. Mm -hmm, two uh, boxes. And these are, as you can see, kind of used up boxes. This okay. is half of a box here. Uh -huh. You need some tin foil. Okay. And then, uh, to make it a little easier, I use uh, aerosol glue. Or you can use uh, And you staples. can use tape, okay. or you can use staples. Okay. And, and what's this uh, right here, a little cutting? This is just a little cutting tool. It's a sheetrock cutter, but it doesn't project the blade very fast, so it's harder to cut yourself real okay. badly. And if scissors would work if you Scissors work okay. if you have heavy scissors. A couple little pieces of wire are a good thing to do, okay. too. Okay. So, so simple. This practically costs nothing. Okay. It Let's... only costs a few dollars. Okay. So, we are making our solar oven. We need two boxes that are very small. So, these are, you pick these up at U-Haul. Right. Right. Just little standard boxes. 11, uh, 1.5 cubic feet. Right. And so what we're doing here is that we're cutting the lid off one of the boxes. Right. And why um, are we doing that? Well, we're gonna, we, we cut this piece off because we're going to use it on that other piece of cardboard. Okay. Here. Okay. And then I'm just making So now what you're doing is, is this the shell or the inner part? This is the shell. Okay. The outside part. And you're cutting and it. Cutting it down. Okay. And then we'll see if this will make an opening here in the center. Okay. And then okay. what I'm going to do here make another little little cut there okay. break that so what we're doing is we're actually cutting open one of the boxes so we can insert some stuff right okay and then now, uh, this piece here this piece right here well what we're going to do first really okay. quickly we're going to I know I have you on the spot here with no, this. No, that's okay. We're I know. So what you're doing here is a little glue, glue. on there. Okay. And a glue stick would work, tape would glue, work. Glue, it, lots of things would work. Okay. It's just that that's easy and fast to use. And the whole purpose of doing that is so why we can glue to down hold our this foil. tin foil. Because the foil is what's going to... It's going to, to what redirect the sunlight. Okay. Foil. Got it. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So we'll do that and that. Okay. And then we're going to take this piece here. This is our second box. This is our second box. Okay. I'm going to take this. Uh, Look at you. You are good. Take this here. And okay. I'm going to. I know we're going to run out of time we here. We are going to run out of time here. So <laughs> we're going to kind of forget that. Okay. We're going to toss that away. Okay. So explain to me what the objective is that we want to do here. What we want to do here is that we're going to do is, is uh, spray some more glue on here. Okay. And put some more tin foil on it. Okay, so this is the second box that you cut up. And this is up. the second piece, and then we we'll stand this up in there like that with okay. the tin foil on it. Let's take a look at and our And when final. it's all finished, this is what it look like. It's kind of heavy. Okay. This is what we're so looking the for. The second box, what you did was you actually almost cut it in half. So right. it's two sides instead it's of four. Two sides, and and what we have here is we have a, a cast iron skill a pot. And it's set on something to elevate a little bit. It can be a glass bowl okay. or anything. I put it in a plastic bag because that helps it increase its temperature faster. This will get about 350 degrees on a day, uh, pretty much like today where it's sunny out, even oh, if there's yes. a breeze. And how long and does it take to cook your food? Is it like a quarter of the time that would It takes about 25% longer okay. than it does in a conventional I have order. to show you something, Chris. Yes. Okay. I'm not trying to upstage you by no, any means. Fine. but. He showed us how to make a different type of solar oven. Last time, And yes. I actually um, looks great. watched the segment and built my own. But 
I think we have some pictures that we could bring up really quick because I want to show you how much you inspired my husband to okay. build a solar oven. I think we have some pictures of this amazing, oh, we don't have them. Oh, well. Oh, oh here they are. Oh, that that's wonderful. The amazing solar oven that my husband built. It took him three weeks to build that, and it was all based on the idea of yeah. you coming on the show. This is very much like the solar ovens they build in India and they use for street vending. Right, and let me tell you, that oven gets hot. We cooked a loaf of bread in an hour and a half yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So pretty amazing. And, the, and it was three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So amazing. So some good stuff there. So utilize your sun and, and get the most out of it because it's so hot here in the valley anyways. Chris, thanks for joining us. And I'll have more information and details of how to build your own solar oven. Just go to abc15.com. You'll find us under the lifestyle section at the top of the page.